What is going on guys? My name is Kenji and welcome back to the channel. I hope this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, but just in case it is, I'm a final year medical student and biomedical science graduate studying King's College London. And guys, one of the most common questions that we often ask ourselves in university or a school is whether or not we should take notes or make flashcards and particularly which is more effective and which is more helpful when revising for our exams. So after eight years of being in university myself, I'm gonna be taking you guys through the pros and the cons of each method of note taking or flashcards and finally ending up with what is the most superior method of learning in preparation for your exams. However, if you're already sold on the concept of making flashcards and you think that's best for you, then I'll leave a link up here on a video that I made about how I make flashcards in university and how you can do so as well. And I'll leave timestamps below as well if you wanna skip to any part of the video. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started, starting off with taking notes and the pros on that as well. Okay, so taking notes is probably the most common way of learning in university, and I certainly did that for a very long time myself, but it's really important to talk about the pros. And what I mean by taking notes is after you've watched a lecture, after you've actually gone to lecture, coming home and opening up the lecture on your laptop, then actually taking handwritten notes on what the lecturer said, what was actually the topic there, and then starting to understand it yourself. That's what I describe as taking notes. Everyone has a sort of kind of definition, but I think that's the main sort of way of describing taking notes. Let's start off by actually talking about what the pros are with taking notes. All right, so the first pro in taking notes and the one that I probably you know liked most is that when you're actually making notes in that whole entire process, it allows you to actually learn through understanding and conceptualizing what you learned as a lecture and helps you consolidate your learning. So for example, if I'm in medical school and I'm learning about the cardiac cycle of our heart, I won't actually learn through reading the lecture slides. How I will learn is by drawing out the heart, you know, on my on my piece of paper, on my iPad, and actually writing notes alongside it and breaking down the whole concept of the cardiac cycle step by step in order for me to actually learn that information and remember for future use. And that's the first advantage on making notes. It allows you to actually understand it and translate what you've learned in the lecture in your own words to allow you to finally memorize it and understand the lecture content. And that's the first advantage of taking notes. The second pro of making notes is that once you actually invest the initial time to create the notes, you will then have a permanent copy of what you understand in terms of the lecture in your own words so that when it comes back to actually revising the topic in preparation for the exam, which might be in a couple of weeks, a couple of months time, you will straight away be able to understand and reteach yourself all of the concepts because once upon a time you actually invested the time to explain that concept in your own words so that your future self can actually understand what you're talking about and that's the second pro of make your own notes the last and final pro about make your own notes is that once you actually understand a concept through this note-taking process it makes it a lot easier to actually commit that information to memory so for example if you're baking a cake rather than using you know let's say flashcards to memorize all the ingredients in a sequential order actually understanding why you're adding this ingredient why you're adding it right now will make it so much easier to remember compared to if you just sat down and tried to memorize all of the ingredients and memorize them one after the other. The actual process of learning and understanding through note-taking makes memorizing it way easier and to retain it in your long-term memory. And that's kind of the final pro of taking notes. Let's now move on to talk about all the cons associated with making notes. The first con and the first thing that I don't like about making notes uh, on my lectures is that it is extremely time consuming. One single lecture in medical school can often take me one hour to an hour and a half to actually sit there and make notes on that entire concept. And if you have around 40 to 50 lectures per module, those hours can really, really rack up. Writing things by hand or even on your laptop can actually be quite a slow process. And the actual friction involved in creating notes compared to making flashcards is actually a lot higher. and can definitely slow you down when actually learning your content. The second con with making notes is that it can actually be quite a passive process and it can actually make it quite difficult to commit things to memory properly. Sometimes writing these notes can be very, very passive, particularly when you're just copying and pasting stuff from different lectures and putting it into your Word document or actually, you know, writing it out. That is in comparison to more of an active process whereby you're actually testing yourself constantly on the content that you're actually learning in these lectures. If note-taking is your only form of actually committing things to memory, then what you'll actually find is that, for example, if you're in medical school and you need to know a large amount of content for a very, very long time what you'll actually find is that you'll be constantly rereading your notes and going over them and you know going back to your notes that you made two years ago in order to try and relearn these concepts so if the actual process of making notes is your only way of committing things to memory you'll actually find it quite difficult and again that process of trying to revisit all of your notes in the past can definitely be very time consuming and trust me i've been there the next con is that trying to find the information that you made in your notes either by you know handwriting or even on a laptop can definitely take some time and can be quite time consuming when i'm studying for my exams in medical 
of school, I often have to go back to old lectures and old notes in order to re-review the information that I made just to kind of remind myself of the key concepts. Back when I used to make notes, going back to that one document, that one you know note-taking document that I made two years ago can take so much time and can actually make the process of making notes quite pointless because the friction of actually finding that notes that I made a long time ago can take such a long time and can actually deter me from wanting to learn the notes that I made once upon a time. And that's the last con in regard to taking notes. Now let's actually focus on flashcards. First off, defining what a flashcard is, and then again, talking about the pros and the cons of flashcards. So starting off with the definition of flashcards, as I'm sure you guys know, essentially what a flashcard is, is having a flashcard like this, so a piece of paper with a question on one side, which might be, you know, what is the first part of the cardiac cycle? And then on the flip side, having the answer, which would be the answer that I said about the cardiac cycle. You can either make a flashcard on paper using an actual physical flashcard, or you can use a software like Anki flashcards, which is the Mac and the iPad software that I use in order to actually create these flashcards on my computer. But again, it's the same concept. On one side, you have a question, on the other side you have an answer. So this is in comparison to making notes which is actually handwritten or actually typing them up. This is actually making questions that you can then later review and ask yourself down the road in order to test yourself and test the knowledge you have on a particular concept or on a particular question. And the first pro of making flashcards is that this is an incredibly efficient process and method of actually committing things to memory. One key thing that I learned at university is that you don't actually learn through writing, you don't learn through making notes. The way that you learn concepts is by testing yourself and trying to actually retrieve that information from your head, that actual process of retrieval of active recall is what allows you to learn a concept in school. So I personally do have notes as well, but I also have flashcards created over the last couple of years, which contains all of the information that I learned through medical school. And I actually go through these flashcards every single day, rain or shine, weekend or not. And as long as I actually do that, theoretically, I should contain all of the theory in my head from the last five years of medical school. So long as I continue to review these flashcards, continue to test myself on this information and continue to to remind myself if I get a concept actually wrong. And that's the first pro of using flashcards. The second pro is the actual friction to create these flashcards is incredibly low. When I actually make my flashcards, I don't actually type anything in the majority of time. What I often do is on one side of the screen, have my flashcard creating app like Anki up. On the second side of the screen, what I often have is the lecture content or resources like PassMed. And then what I do is just copy and paste the information from the lectures or from PassMed, and then paste that directly into my flashcard note-taking system on Anki. And that is a flashcard created, the friction of doing so is incredibly low. And the rest of the time is actually just spent on trying to actually learn that content and information and actually review these flashcards, which can save me so much time. It can be very, very efficient. The final pro that I find with making flashcards is the actual retrieval of information is incredibly quick. So for example, if I'm doing a question on a, a cardiac arrest, if I want to actually retrieve the notes that I made on that cardiac arrest, all I have to do is go onto my Anki software, type in cardiac arrest, or for example, also just type in pulmonary embolism and straight away in seconds, what Anki will do is retrieve all of the cards I've made on a pulmonary embolism or cardiac arrest, whatever I search for, and immediately give me all the information related to that topic. And because Anki also has an iPhone and iPad app, it means that all of that information that I made is available to me on the go, wherever I might be, in the hospital or in a lecture. And that process of retrieving information, retrieving the notes that you made is incredibly quick and easy. And yes, as I said, there's so many pros with making flashcards, but there definitely are a few cons as well to consider. The first pro and like the most important thing that I absolutely hate is that you need to review these flashcards every single day because if you don't, these flashcards will build up over time. For example, after my last exam, I took a four day kind of holiday vacation to just not look at any sort of medicine, any work at all. And when I came back on that fifth day, I had over 300 cards to review and that took me like three hours to get through. So if you're not reviewing them on a daily basis, then it can actually be a waste of time. You need to make sure you do that and it can be incredibly annoying. The next really important con to consider when making flashcards is that it's not a very good way of learning concepts as a whole. What you often end up doing with Anki flashcards is that you end up remembering specific facts in a concept, not the actual whole entire concept, which can make it very difficult to learn entire concepts. So for example, if I was to try and learn the cardiac cycle using flashcards, what might actually happen is I will learn different parts of the cardiac cycle in isolation. And when it comes to actually relating this to physiology, to disease, and let's say heart failure, I actually won't be able to understand the concept of 
heart failure because I only learned the different parts of the cardiac cycle in isolation and not as a concept as a whole. So if you get asked a question in a test that tests your understanding, you may actually struggle to understand and give a good cohesive answer because flashcards don't really allow you to understand, they allow you to memorize. So if you don't actually have that implicit understanding of a concept, you won't be able to actually understand the concept as a whole and that can be a very dangerous potential downfall. The last con with making flashcards is that although it's very efficient, it's not very enjoyable. What I absolutely love about making notes, for example, using my you know Apple Pencil and my iPad when making notes, is that the process of using this Apple Pencil, drawing, adding colors, all of these things is so enjoyable and I actually love sitting down creating these notes. And by the way, if you guys want access to all of the notes that I made to pass all of my exams in my third, my fourth and fifth year of medical school, then you can go ahead and do that on my website. And as you guys can see, these notes that I made were so much fun. It was almost like a coloring book. So that process is definitely ruined by making flashcards, not very enjoyable. It's copy and pasting a lot of the time and that can take away from the fun of making notes. But if that's something you don't really care about, if all you care about is efficiency, then this is not really a point that you need to take consideration. But now let's move on to the final part, which is actually choosing and discussing what is a more efficient process of learning information. Is it flashcards or is it making notes? All right, so now let's answer the big question, which is which method is more superior when learning new content? Now, the simple answer is that they both have their uses. And ideally what you want to do is use a mixture of both methods, depending on what type of content you're learning and how you want to learn it. What I'd suggest is before actually starting to learn a new concept, I suggest actually taking time to think about what exactly you're trying to achieve with this content of work. For example, if I was learning the cardiac cycle, I know straight away that that is a concept that requires a majority of understanding rather than just rogue learning of information. So I might actually spend time making notes instead of flashcards. And this is the predominant method that I use in my first, second and third year of medical school, because the first three years of medical school are largely to do with the understanding of how the human body works, understanding of physiology. And then when I moved on to the later years, I started incorporating more flashcard methods. However, when I moved on to my fourth and fifth year of medical school, since I already had a very good understanding of how the human body works and the understanding was already in place, the rest of the time spent in medical school is more about learning, uh, symptoms, treatments, and management. And the majority of that was purely based on memory recall rather than actual understanding of work. And that's why I started moving towards making flashcards to learn my new content. And over the last kind of year and a half to two years, I actually haven't made a single note for quite a while now. And the flashcard process of learning has really allowed me to get a large amount of information stored in my head over time. And as I said, if you want a full explanation on how I do this and how I make flashcards, a video, a video will be linked up there above. Ideally, you want to learn how to do both very, very well. So going back to the example of the cardiac cycle, when you want to actually start learning how it works as a concept, as a whole, I would recommend starting off making notes, you know, really understanding it, really spend time trying to understand the overall concept of how the heart works, how the heart functions. And then once you feel like you have a very good implicit understanding of the, how the heart functions, then I recommend moving on to flashcards to try and memorize those small, tiny points that you're likely to forget in the future. And those points tend not to be about the general understanding because you should already generally understand how the heart works as a whole, but it should really be about using the flashcards to then really understand the core key principles in the cardiac cycle. And it was by combining these two methods, one being note-taking and then using flashcards to really solidify all of the specific details that has allowed me to still know and be able to describe in full detail how the cardiac cycle works five years on now from when I first learned it. So in conclusion, sometimes you may only need to make a few notes in order to fully understand the concept. And that's why I have my iPad iPad and Apple Pencil at hand in medical school if I ever need to really understand a concept in depth as a whole. Other times when preparing for exams, all I have to do is simply memorize key facts, treatments, you know, management and symptoms. And when it comes to learning key facts like that, as well as medications, that's when I start to use the flashcard method in order to memorize those details. So in conclusion, my tips and recommendation would be firstly to think about what you're learning and whether what you're learning involves purely memory or understanding, and then apply either one or both methods in order to fully understand a concept that you want to learn for in preparation for your exams. That's my comparison of note-taking and flashcards. I hope it's giving you guys some value. If it has, then you may want to check out this video over here about flashcards and note-taking and all of that good stuff. Please make sure to leave the video a like down below. Make sure you subscribe notifications on to never miss a video when I next upload. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.